Alright guys, so first of all, please ignore the chewing loud nasty sounds in the background. That is my dog going to town on a bone and he's not going to stop just because I put a camera on. Um, I have been asked so many questions about Ryerfest. Am I going and am I selling? Yes, I am going. Uh, I will be selling. Now here's the thing. I don't know what day I'll get there. Right now, depending on how my situation goes, I'll either get there Wednesday or I'll get there Thursday. Um, I will probably only sell one night. Uh, I will not be staying the whole weekend. I will be leaving on Saturday. Um, so, like I said, I will probably only sell Thursday night. Maybe Friday night. Um, but Thursday night is going to be the main gig. Um, and then whatever sells, sells. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. So, y'all all, all want to know what I'm going to be selling. I'm making this video. This is the for sure stuff that will be going. But... I may have a few more, but I've got to find my tote of OF plastics that I packed up so that I can get them going as well. Everyone wants to know the prices. I'm sort of going to tell you the prices, but like I'm not firm on them right now, you guys. And especially like on the OFs, I'm going to be motivated to move them out. And then lastly, this is not a sales video. I hate shipping. So I am really trying not to have to ship these. I would love to sell these at Briarfest and not have to worry about it. However, a couple of these, like these guys, are on model horse sales pages. This guy is on model horse sales pages. These two are on model horse sales pages. And this one, if you can pay in full, I am going to be selling them. However, like I said, I'm really not looking for time payments on these right now unless, you know, it's really, really fast. Um, I'm really looking to sell these at Briarfest. The only way I will hold one of these at Briarfest for you is if you put a deposit down, a non-refundable deposit down beforehand. Otherwise, it's just fair game. Whoever gets to the room to buy them first. Um, because I've just, I've had too many bad experiences holding and then people not showing up or not buying. So anyways, this is going to be a quick video. This is, this is the minimum of what I'm going to have. I may add some more closer to time. And like I said, I may have a lot more OF if I can figure out where that tub got to. And so I'm going to quickly go over these with you guys. You've got Gypsy King, Nokomis, Travis, and these two San Domingo molds who have not had love in a very long time. Um, honestly, these are probably going to be between 20 and 30 bucks. Um gonna like I said be looking to move them out I don't want to come home with them this Hidalgo right here is signed by uh, the trainer who had the movie Hidalgo at Briarfest back in Lord knows when um, I think I did find my photo of where he signed it for me but now I have to relocate it and bring it with me anyways this horse is in exceptional condition he is you know what I would consider to be live show quality but I don't show OF uh, he will be there. He's going to be roughly $100. Um, we have a Sylvester. Who is probably going to be anywhere from $20 to $25. Bucks. Uh, mine is a darker one. So we'll have an unpainted Hazel. Um, she's probably going to be whatever Hazel's price is. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, so whatever her price is. Then this is just the regular Marabella. Again, probably like $20. Um, these prices are not set in stone, by the way. Uh, the OFs, I have to... I don't know my OF values, so I have to look them up, but I'm just kind of guessing. This little guy is the only one who is a maybe. This is a mini Ravenhill by Lauren Morris, who's actually really pretty, but the light is so bright in this room, you can't even tell, hardly. Um, the only reason I'm considering selling him is because... While I was waiting for his repairs and everything else, I got another mini Ravenhill, and I also have a traditional one, and I'm not really looking to have three. Um, I don't have a price determined on him just yet, so still up in the air. This is a semi-drastic little stable mate custom into a Rainer, and he'll probably be roughly 50, 60 bucks. Then you have a brownie resin who is on model horse sales pages so very serious parties can go there to contact me about him um, he comes with a stack of NAND cards he's gonna be roughly four hundred dollars 
Then you have Oliver, who comes with a very large stack of Nan cards. He has been re-sculpted. Um, really cute little guy. The only reason I am selling him is because I have so many pony foals. Otherwise, he would not be going. He'll be $500. Um, we have this little Maggie Micro, which is from, uh, I think it was January. January, February's Micro Mini Club Edition. Um, I don't know how much he'll be yet. I don't know. We have this little Drafter Resin. He's like a stable mate scale draftful. He'll be 30. Um, we have a stable mate custom who is live show quality. He's really pretty in person. Like I said, the light is so bright in here. It's not doing anything for them. But and he will be 45. And then I have a little Paso custom by Jeanette Gary. She'll probably be 40, maybe a little less. I'm not really, I'm like I said, I'm not really sure on prices yet. Y'all just asked, so I'm giving you a ballpark. This guy is a re-sculpted Totalis resin. He is NAND and he is absolutely just phenomenal. Um, he will be 120. And we have a Stormy Custom. And he is very soft, very pretty in person. He will be roughly 40 bucks. And we have a Big Ben Custom, who you're not going to be able to appreciate until you see him in person. He is absolutely a showstopper if you use this guy in performance. This guy, my dog is so loud. <laughs> this guy is perfect for performance. He is beautiful attack set would look beautiful on him he is also halter he did have some old nan cards um but i would have to see if i could find them and he still places pretty high um, the only thing is i have so many sport horses so um pixie is going to be there i'm just going to warn you i do not have a price on pixie yet so that will be up in there she has a humongous stack of nan cards uh, she might have a stack of hand cards big enough. Put this down while I put her down. She might have a stack of cards big enough to warrant a merit award. I'm not 100% sure, which would mean she has over, I think, it's 12 or 15. And then finally, we have Daffodid by Mink and painted by Chris Jolly. Also comes with a handful of NAN cards. Um, and his breed, the Welsh D, does come in the roan color. Oh, it's not the last one, second last. He is also really, really awesome. He's probably going to be 550. Look at the camera down, or else I'm going to have fatalities here. Then I'll be pissed. All right, and then last but not least is this Roan Imp by Tracy Ehlers. He's like got hair by hair roaning. It's just not going to pick up in a camera. He also has a very, very large stack of hand cards. Um, and champs and everything else. He will not come cheap, um, but I am taking him. I'm just trying to cut down. I have so many folds and everything. I'm just trying to cut some down. Um, but he is going to be pretty pricey because it costs me a lot to obtain him. So he will be there with all his NAN cards and awards if you're actually looking for an imp. And he is probably one of the best ones I have. I'm just very attached to my other ones because I've had them so much longer. So this is my Briarfest group for right now. Like I said, the customs and the resins probably won't change too much. You might see a few show up for sale that weren't in this video, but for the most part they will stay the same. OFs, you might see a ton more for sale by the time we get to Briarfest. Um, probably like Adriano, um, the porcelain ones. I didn't bring them over here, but if you're on my Instagram, you saw them. They'll probably be up there. Uh, a QVC Black Beauty. I know I have some old Briarfest horses that will be up there. Celebration model horses. They would be really cheap. Um, I just got to find them. Once I find them, if I find them, they will be there. And like I said, the OFs, I'm going to be pricing to move because I really don't want to pack them up and take them back home. So, thank you guys for watching. Please follow my Instagram account um, for more information about selling at Briarfest. I will be posting my room number and everything else um, along with who I'm going to be rooming with. I'll be giving her, oh no, he's got a speaker. Um, I will be giving her a plug as well. 
you can also check back here, but I may forget to update YouTube with the room number, all right? So please follow my Instagram if you want to stay up to date to know exactly what room I'll be in and what I'll be selling in. I hope you guys have a good one, and I have two more videos that I'm uploading right after this one. So subscribe and like it so you can see it when it comes up. Thanks, guys. Oh, snap, and one more clip to add on at the end. I hope this works. I will have a prepped and primed by Charlotte Donahue gorgeous Everl Salome resin there. Um, I am going to be interested in trading this one for very, very, very limited things. See her model horse sales ad. I will not take any OFs or anything. It's only for very certain resins. Um, but she will be for sale. She will be $600, and she is just beautiful. All right, guys, now it's officially the end of the video. Thanks for watching.